okay my dear students let us discuss uh, the convolution example number 2 uh, that is finding the inverse laplace transform by convolution theorem the example is given as i told you in the first example that uh, you have to split this into f of s and g of s how can you split let f of s is equal to you take 1 divided by s square plus a square one term here then g of s is s divided by because i have not used s here so therefore in the second function you take s and one term here okay so therefore f of s is equal to 1 divided by s square plus a square g of s is equal to s divided by s square plus a square okay after getting this one find its laplace of f of s laplace inverse of g of s laplace inverse of f of s is equal to 1 divided by s square plus a square the inverse of this s square plus a square is sin a t divided by the called as f of t similarly go for this one laplace inverse of s divided by s square plus a square is given as cos a t okay this is f of t this is g of t after getting this one use the convolution theorem the convolution theorem states like this okay so l inverse of f of s into g of s is nothing but this is only so you take this one that is equal to integration u from 0 to t f of u you see where is f of t it is t wherever t is there you replace by u so sin a u divided by a sin a u divided by when you go for g of t minus u g of t so u t is replaced by t minus u so therefore cos of a into bracket t minus u so i have multiplied a inside here so therefore a t minus a u with respect to du okay now you take one by a outside one by a outside and sin a u and this is cos of a t minus a u with respect to du then after this you treat this one as a you call it as this one as totally b and you read it sin a into cos b we have a formula sin a into cos b that is a transformation formula of product that is sin a into cos b 1 by 2 formula i am writing for this one 1 by 2 sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b so substitute 1 divided by 2 1 divided by 2a right integration as it is okay sin a into cos b is sin of sin of a plus b au plus at minus au Okay, plus sine of a minus b a u minus a t minus of minus plus a t with respect to u. So plus a u minus a u get cancelled. Sine a t remains plus sine of here a u plus a u is two times a u minus a t as it is with respect to d u. Okay, now further one divided by two a as it is now integration of uh, sine a t with respect to d u. D u there is no u so this is constant. I have written outside. Here one with respect to u is u applying limit zero to t minus. Okay, so why why I am writing minus? I will tell you what is integration of sine minus cos cos of two a u minus a t. Okay, and differentiation of two a u with respect to d u two a. So I have written applying limit zero to t. Then later on, see here one divided by two a as it is apply upper limit minus lower limit. So Uh, if you apply upper limit instead of this uh, see here upper limit i'll show you okay sin at as it is 1 by 2 as it is sin at as it is okay then see here apply upper limit t minus 0 so i have written t minus 0 minus 1 divided by 2a this i have taken outside 2a so cos of apply t wherever you is there you apply t 2at minus at is at so therefore cos at minus minus if you apply 0 wherever Uh, u is there you apply zero minus minus uh, so it become cos at only so therefore it become cos at okay so therefore this becomes totally zero cos at minus cos at this is become zero only remains this one so sin at into t or t into sin at divided by 2a okay this is the solution for the given by using convolution theorem okay so i will stop here i will continue the next example in a next video lecture